To say Montana and Eastern Washington's game lived up to the hype on Saturday evening would be underselling it. The Eagles and Grizzlies played an instant college football classic here at Ruse Field in Cheney, Washington, in a game that came down to the very last play. Eastern Washington entered this game 4-0. Meanwhile, the Montana Grizzlies entered this one 3-0 as the fourth-ranked team in the FCS looking to make another statement in the state of Washington. It doesn't take Eastern Washington long for their high-powered offense to get going. Eric Barrier drops back and finds Talolo Limo Jones, who takes it down inside the 10. And next, Barrier finds Andrew Boston for the 8-yard score. And just like that, the Eagles lead 7-0. But it didn't take long for Montana's offense to respond, and Cam Humphrey pitches it to Xavier Harris who walks into the end zone from three yards out and it's 7-7 to -7 in the first quarter. Second quarter, Montana driving again and this time it's Humphrey throwing the ball and he finds Samuel Akim in the corner of the end zone. He fights off the defender and scores his 25th touchdown as a Montana Grizzly and it's 14-7 UM. Eastern Washington adds a field goal before halftime to make it 14-10. Grizzlies at the break. Then right out of the gates in the third quarter, it's Montana again. Humphrey takes the snap, rolls to his right and he finds Joey Elwell who dives across the pylon and he scores to make it 21 to 10 Montana. Grizz defense giving Eastern Washington all they can handle, and Marcus Wellno gets the interception here to halt any ego momentum. But right here is where things began to turn as Eastern Washington blocks a Montana field goal, and then on the second play of the fourth quarter, Barrier finds Boston again in the back of the end zone. The two point conversion is no good, but it's 21 16, Montana still with the lead. But that wouldn't last for much longer. Barrier dropping back, and he airs it out deep to Limu Jones, who gets all the way down to the two yard line. He gets injured on the play. But on the very next play, Eastern Washington capitalizes. Micah Smith powers it in from two yards out. And then Barrier keeps it himself on the two-point conversion. He sprints out to his right, gets across the goal line, and it's 24-21 Eastern Washington. Montana now looking for an answer. They have a good drive going down to Eastern Washington's 11, but it's Demetrius Crosby who picks it off in the end zone to keep the momentum with the Eagles. And Eastern Washington doesn't take long to capitalize. A five-play drive goes 80 yards, and the Eagles score from one yard out, and they take a 31-21 lead. But on the ensuing kickoff, this one won't surprise Montana Grizzly football fans. Malik Flowers fields the kickoff, and just like that, he is gone for his fifth kick return touchdown as a Montana Grizzly. And just like that, he electrifies the Montana sideline and the Grizz fans, and it cuts the deficit down for the Grizzlies to 31-28, to Eagles still leading. Late in the game, Eastern Washington trying to salt this one away. Here's Barrier converting a fourth down, this time with his legs, to keep the ball with the Eagles, but they end up having to settle for a field goal to make it 34-28, to giving Montana one more chance to win the game. Final minute, and it's Cam Humphrey trying to lead his team to a victory. He scrambles up the middle, but he takes the huge hit, and he gets knocked out of the game with an apparent lower leg injury, and he does not return. So now it's up to backup quarterback Chris Brown. The Bozeman High grad completed a pair of passes to get Montana on Eastern Washington's 13-yard line. Then the final play of the game with four seconds left. Brown takes the snap. He avoids the defense as he avoids the sack. He heaves it into the end zone, but the Eagles are able to break the pass up and knock it down. And Eastern Washington, the sixth-ranked team in the FCS, tops the fourth-ranked Montana Grizzlies 34-28 at Ruse Field in an instant classic in Cheney, Washington. It was a good game. Certainly, uh, uh, congratulations to the other side. They did a nice job. I uh, thought Coach Best had them ready to go. I thought their defense played really uh, an inspired game tonight, and they did a nice job. I really think that the game came down to at certain crucial times. Both sides had a chance to make plays, and they made more than we did. And uh, I'm sure uh, that the, the coaches and Coach Best at Eastern are very proud of their team, but I'm, I'm proud of ours too because we had some things go against us, got down double digits and kind of found different ways back into it. So it's a loss. We're one and one in the conference and, and uh, not very happy about it. Oh, I mean, we just stuck to the game plan. Uh, we probably would have wanted to take some more shots than, you know, than we did, but at the end of the day, they were bringing that pressure and whatnot. So it's kind of a, a game of like tug of war, I guess you could you could say. Um, you know, we went into halftime. Yeah, we were down, but we came out and just stuck to what we were doing, and eventually it, it, it cracked open for us. It's especially with this being my last year, that this that that one felt a little different. You know, it was a sour taste last time losing to them. Um, I felt like we underperformed, and so uh, to wait this long and to to do it in this environment on our home field. Um, in this situation at this time, I mean, I, I'm almost speechless. You know, I don't really quite know what to say uh, in this moment. So it was just amazing to me. Flat out awesome. It just it, not even second half, just awesome in general. 
awesome, flat out awesome job. And that's been everybody's go to is how is the defense going to play? Well, it's been on film for five games, okay? And it's not always going to be perfect. We play a high tempo offense, which puts our defense on the field quite a bit longer than most teams. We led in the time of possession, I think, the first time in five games. Um, that's mainly due to the defense getting off the field. Uh, they did enough in the run. Uh, there was not a ton of big plays, uh, but everybody wants to know what the Achilles heel of every team is. We don't have one. We just don't play perfect all the time. Uh, we play together. We always believe in each other, and we're not going to be perfect in every single scenario, even though the world wants us to be perfect in every single scenario. Uh, we played well enough to win tonight. Next week, the Grizzlies are back in Missoula as they welcome Dixie State to Washington Grizzly Stadium. Reporting in Cheney, Washington, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.